Hello everyone. So I'm recording this video to give a overview for the demonstration with regards to the lab topic, which is the cross account access with using the AWS role. That is basically the delegation with regards to the cross account access with the help of the AWS role. So to get an overview of what exactly I'm trying to highlight about what is cross account access, let me show you a scenario. Assume that right now we have the development account and the number series is one of my account that I hold, which is the development account, where I will be creating a user called Alex as part of the development account. He would be having the administrator access, which is nothing but called the trusted account. On the other side, I'll be having something called my production account. That is nothing but another account ID, which is called the prod. On the other side, what I want is, I want Alex to log in from the development account by using the concept of switch role. So that Alex can assume a role in the production, which is read only access to the EC2 instances. So in order to achieve that, we can easily identify that there are two things, two different accounts, dev and production account that I have to have. That is basically two different account IDs, two different accounts that I need to have. And there should be a bridge that should be established between the development and production account. So I call it as the trusted account where I'll be logging in with and the other side, I'll be having the trusting account where I'll assume the role. So in order to get th things done, we need to follow the following steps. First, we'll create an Alex, the IM user in the development account, so called the trusted account. Right after that, I'll be creating a role inside the production account because that is the role that I need to assume, which I'll be calling it as my cross account role. And the policy that I'll allow him is that it should be only allowing me to read the EC2 instances in the production account. Right after that, I'll move back to my trusted account, which is in case that is our development account. I'll create a policy, which I'll be calling it as cross account policy with the service STS, that is the security token service. The reason why I have to use STS is that all the API calls between the development production will, will be happening with regards to the security token service. So I'll allow the service STS to assume the role for the role that I've created, which is nothing but my cross account role so that the cross account role will become the trusted entity in my case. And once it is done, I'll allow the a policy that is cross account policy that I've created to this newly created user Alex, sorry, Alex. And once this is done, then I'll verify the switch role. So guys, in order to get a clear picture, let's get started and let's me show you how things can be done. Okay, to get things done in a smoother way, one side I have an account which is called the AWS dev account, you can see right now it is one account. So how is that will identify the account? So right now the account that I have is the development account, which is nothing but you can identify with the number series nine. So nine series is my development account. In another browser, I'm running my production account, which you can identify with number series starting with seven. So if you see a number series seven, assume that is your production account. So guys, I have two accounts that are with seven four and the other one is at nine three. So one account that I'm running is in my Firefox, which is my dev account, nine three series. And the other account that I have is my production account, which is at seven four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a switch role to the Alex user who is going to be getting created inside this account, inside my development account. So I'm going to create a user Alex and allow Alex to assume a role so that he can switch his role so that he can get access to the production account. And in production, he can only see the EC2 instances. He can only read that EC2 instances. So in order to get things started guys, let me just first use IAM to create an IAM user as part of the step one. So step one is to create Alex in our, in our group. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to users and say add user. Who is that user? Alex is a user. 
okay and then say that I'm going to give him programmatic and console access and I'm going to allow him to change his password and right after that I'll just allow him with next permissions I'll have just next review and create a user so I've created just Alex a user and I haven't assigned any permissions to him so Alex is now a user who got created here right now you can see to this user Alex there are no permissions that are attached except the permissions which allow him to change his policy during the first login okay so I have created the user so right after the user now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch back into my production account that is my 7 series which is my the production account and what I'm gonna do is from the production account I'm gonna create a role so for that to happen first thing is switch to IAM and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a role so my role and then create a role because this is the role that should be given to my development resources like Alex or a role so that Alex can assume this role so I have to create that role so I'll go and say that I want to create a role for this account ID so what is the account ID so the account ID of the production account of the development account so go and pick the development account so my account the account ID for this number so this is the account ID for which I'm gonna allow the role to come in so I'll say that I'm gonna allow to this account ID okay all the resources so here I'm gonna say create a policy here so I'm just gonna say that I want to allow read only so which read only that I want to do I want to do easy to read so easy to read only and next review and what is the role so it is my cross account role the name of the role that I'm creating as part of this role I'll be allowing resources to just read only EC2 instances because this is a production account I want resources from the development account coming from the development account should only be able to read this account okay now since I have created my role the next step is to you know allow the users or the roles that are coming from my development account to assume this role so for that to happen what is that I need to do is I need to switch back into my production account okay now I have to create a policy so create policy so click create policy and I'll say choose a service so here we are using security token service so just type in SDS you able to see SDS and I want to perform all the actions so which is that resource can assume this role so click ARN for this role so we need to specify which is that user that gonna access this role so for that what we need to do is we need to pull this role that should be assumed by my development uh, the role users or the roles whoever has picked the roles and then add the role and review the policy so the name of the policy is cross role hyphen policy the name of the policy that I'm creating and create a policy so the policy has been created so what I'll do is once the policy is created I go back to the user and I'll assign this policy to the Alex so add the permissions so which is the policy that I should be adding attach the policy since we have created a custom policy click on the custom policy so I have the custom policy now I have the cross role policy next review it and add permissions so the policy to Alex has been assigned so first thing what I'll do is I'll first log out from this and now I'll try to log in as Alex and try to verify whether my switch role shall work so for that to happen let me sign into the management console and I have to provide the credentials so sign into the different account so just let me get the account ID first sorry guys so let me just get the first account ID the account ID is something like this so let me copy the account ID 
copy the account ID and let me highlight that. Okay, account ID. Next, so I'm trying to log in as an access. Oh, sorry, Alex. So it's Alex. One, two, three. I'm gonna enter my password. Sign in to the Alex. So let me just double check it. And let me give a password log. So I'm now logged into Alex. The old password and the new password that I'm changing. And confirm the change password for Alex. So once the Alex logins, he should be given an option to change his password, which we have done successfully. And we have an option to go for the switch rule, right? And once the switch rule is done, so what is the account that we have? The account number is this, sorry, the account number is to which account that that is nothing but your production account. This is my production account. And the role that I want to assume is my cross account role. So if my role was, if this role is available, then I'll be able to make the changes accordingly. There you go guys, now you can see, I'm able to assume a role, which is my cross account role into this account. And if I want to see any other service like S3, if I want to see S3, I should be getting a denial. See, I'm getting an error denied. Now I want to see something uh, apart from this role. I want to see the role of, let's say I am, I want to see I am policies in the production account. I should be getting no permissions. So I don't have permissions to look in. Now I want to look into any other thing. Now I want to see what I can, uh, can I see something on the EC2 part? Yes, of course. The reason why I can see the EC2 instances in my production account, I'm allowed to log in. Right now, I do not have any running instances, but if I have any instances, I should be, I should have been able to see this. So if you want to even double verify, go and check any other RDS if you want to verify. Because this policy of cross account role is assumed with the policy, that policy is only allowing me to read only access. So I want to see the database instances. It should throw me an error, access denied because I'm unable to run that. So I hope guys, the concept of the uh, cross account access role is very clear for once again, the reviewing, I just want to give you say that what we had is we had a development account. This was the account ID for the development where Alex was playing the role of administrator, so called the trusted account. On the other side, we had the production account where Alex had to assume a role, which we had to get it done with the help of switch role. And that role had a policy to just only read only access to EC2 instances. So what we have done in the development account, we have created a policy. That policy has assumed the role in the production account. So which was, which was, a, which we were able to get the help of, with the, with, we were able to get it done with the help of SDS. So SDS has allowed us to assume a role which was created in production account that is my production account role. And the policy that we have created in development was cross account policy. So cross account policy was attached to LX and LX has assumed a role which was created in production, my cross account role. So with that, we were able to achieve the cross account from one account to another account. I hope guys, the steps are very clear. So I'll just run again, run it. once again, what I've done, created an IAM user in the trusted account, created a role in production, which we had only access to easy to then created in my development account, a new policy that would allow me to assume the role for that newly created, which was my cross account with the help of the new service called SDS. Then I have created a role that is uh, by adding the role to the, uh, by adding the RN number of this role into my policy when I'm creating and assign that policy, which we have created in the development account to Alex and finally verifying with the help of switch role. That's all guys. Have a great day ahead. Thank you. And I'm turning the call for now.